If you want to build a KPI dashboard for your business, then stick around because you're in the right place. Today, we're going to cover what a KPI dashboard actually is and why businesses use them. We're also going to explore the four most common ways in which businesses build KPI dashboards so you can decide what the right approach is for you and your dashboard. So what is a KPI dashboard? A KPI dashboard is designed so that you can monitor your business performance at a glance. It contains only the most important metrics that you and your team need to see at any given time. And we call these metrics KPIs or key performance indicators. A dashboard is not the same as reporting. When we talk about reporting, we're usually talking about taking some time to review your business information in depth before presenting your findings in the form of a fixed report. Whereas a KPI dashboard is all about giving you that performance snapshot. It only includes the most important metrics, it should ideally fit onto a single screen, and it should always stay up to date because you never know when you might need to check it. It's also helpful to understand that there are two main types of dashboard performance dashboards and monitoring dashboards. Performance dashboards are all about helping your team understand how they're performing against their goals so they know how to improve. They're great for accountability and motivation. So an example of a performance dashboard might be a sales dashboard, which shows how different sales reps are performing against their revenue targets. A monitoring dashboard, on the other hand, is something that we use to sense check the health of a system and instantly flag if something has changed or needs urgent attention. Now, these are great for staying on top of important processes and speeding up our reaction times. So a call center dashboard would be an example of a monitoring dashboard. In a call center dashboard, the call center manager can use this to understand how many calls are taking place, how many calls are building up, how many customers are waiting to be connected to a rep, and it allows them to react in the moment to what's going on with their data and KPIs. Now, there are many ways to build a KPI dashboard, and you might be wondering, how am I going to build a KPI dashboard for my business? What is going to be the right approach? So today, we're going to cover the four most common ways in which businesses build KPI dashboards. Number one, by using a spreadsheet. Number two, by using inbuilt analytics tools. Number three, by using a BI tool or a business intelligence tool. And number four, by using a specialist KPI dashboard tool like Gecko Board. So let's explore these options a bit further so you can understand which is going to be the right approach for you. Number one, using a spreadsheet like Excel or Google Sheets. Now, there are a ton of online tutorials exploring how to use Microsoft Excel to build a KPI dashboard. So I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but I am going to cover the basic premise. The basic premise involves splitting your spreadsheet into three separate stages or three separate sheets. Now, in the first sheet, we have all of our raw data. So we just dump our data in there in a format that we're going to be able to work with. On the second sheet, we build something called a staging area. Now, the staging area, you use formulae to either pull out your KPIs or calculate your KPIs so that you're able to then turn them into visualizations on the third sheet. And on the third sheet, you set up your dashboard how you want it using Excel's visualizations, which pull data from the staging area. Now, using a spreadsheet to create your KPI dashboard is probably a very attractive option because A, they are low cost or free in the case of Google Sheets, and B, most people have knowledge of and access to tools like Excel. However, you need to be aware that spreadsheets carry some major downsides when being used as a KPI dashboard tool because they're not really designed for that. Firstly, they're hard to keep up to date and that's because they normally require some kind of manual input or manual process. And if you want your KPI dashboard to be useful, you need to keep it up to date. You need to keep it up to date in real time if possible. Secondly, spreadsheets are hard to display in the places where your team is going to see them. You're going to be relying on your team to be going back to that spreadsheet, opening up, revisiting it in order to get the value out of it. And in reality, this might not become a habit. So in summary, spreadsheets are great for reporting and for analysis, but as a KPI dashboard tool, they're not going to be the best solution you have available. Number two, using inbuilt analytics tools. If you use cloud-based business tools like Shopify, Salesforce, Zendesk, then you might be able to build your KPI dashboard using their own inbuilt analytics tools. I'm talking about things like Zendesk Explorer, Salesforce Reports, 
and Shopify Analytics. This might be a good option if all of your KPIs are stored within a single tool. However, if you have KPIs spread across multiple tools, then this is unlikely to be a good option unless you're happy to be logging into separate tools all the time to see your KPIs. It's also not gonna be a good option if you need everybody in the business or the team to log into that tool to see the KPIs they need to see. Because one, those extra user licenses can become expensive, and two, without further training, not everybody's gonna know how to actually access the information that they need. The third option for building a KPI dashboard is to use a business intelligence tool like Power BI or Tableau. In order to use a BI tool, you first need to get all of your data into one place, something called a data warehouse. You can then connect your BI tool to your data warehouse in order to build your KPI dashboard. BI tools are great because they provide you with an enormous amount of flexibility to build your dashboard exactly how you want it. You can also use them to perform some pretty sophisticated data analysis. However, the downside is that getting all of your data into a single data warehouse is much easier said than done. You'll need data specialists who understand how to work with APIs, write SQL and build data warehouses. And even then, depending on the data source, it's not always straightforward. Plus, BI tools themselves are normally quite advanced pieces of software. These aren't tools that you can just pick up and use without training. In conclusion, BI tools can be a really good option for creating dashboards, but they will require an investment in terms of money, time, and people and skills. Now, this might be worthwhile if you're also looking to use these tools to run business analysis and reporting. However, if you're only looking to create a KPI dashboard, then they might not be the best fit tool for your business, particularly if you are small to medium-sized businesses with limited resources. The fourth option is to use a KPI dashboard tool like Gecko Board. Unlike a BI tool, Gecko Board connects directly to over 90 data sources like Salesforce, Shopify, and Zendesk. So the setup is going to be much simpler. It also auto refreshes your data in real time, meaning it always stays up to date. The payoff is that Gecko Board can't perform the same analysis that a BI tool can, but as a way of visualizing and sharing your most important live data, it's going to be much easier to set up and use. It also has some fantastic sharing options. You can create sharing links so you can share your dashboard with anybody you want. It's very easy to set up as a TV dashboard so you can display it on the wall in the office. And you can also set up automatic reports and KPI alerts. And the best part about Gecko Board is that unlike a BI tool, you don't need any specialist knowledge to set it up or use it. So let's explore right now how you can build a sales KPI dashboard with Gecko Board. So this is Gecko Board, so we're just going to go ahead and sign up for a free 14-day trial. And after we've signed up for a trial, we're greeted with this screen where we're asked to connect our data. So Gecko Board has over 90 data sources, um, including Zendesk, Google Analytics, Intercom, HubSpot, Salesforce, Shopify, and many more. So if you're not quite ready to connect your live data yet, you could always maybe check out Gecko Board by checking out our Google Sheets integration and trying Gecko Board out with some dummy data. But for now, I'm going to select Pipedrive because I've got some... Um, sales metrics in Pipedrive, which I'd like to use to create my dashboard. So just click on Pipedrive and it will ask you to choose the metric that you want to visualize. Now you'll have the option to customize some of these metrics later or even build your own custom widget. But for now, I'm just gonna select revenue this month and it's going to ask me to connect my Pipedrive account. Now just click connect Pipedrive and log into Pipedrive in order to sync so as you can see, it's created my first number widget, which is revenue this month. Um, so I may want to change the name of this widget. I may also want to add a little bit of context. So I think instead of just showing 4.7 million, I think I'd like to show our goal for the month as well, which is 7 million. So I'm just going to go into this. I'm going to edit and I'm going to set a goal and I'm going to set that goal at $7 million. And now you can see it's created this percentage bar at the bottom. So we can see exactly where we are in relation to our monthly targets. Now, I think I'd like to add a bit more data to this dashboard. So as well as just the total revenue for this month, I would like to also um, show how our sales reps are contributing to this revenue. And I'm 
So down here, I'm going to edit this widget. And rather than showing a number visualization, I'm going to show a column chart. And I'm going to split that column chart by owner. So now I can see that um, Ben, Carlos, Jack, John, uh, they're all contributing to our overall revenue targets. And this is going to be great for keeping that sense of accountability, that sense of friendly competition as well, and motivation. Okay, so if we want to rearrange these widgets, we can just move them about the dashboard. We can also group them together as well, um, so they look a little bit nicer. And we can maybe kind of group this into um, revenue this month. where we show that this is the total and this is by owner. So it's nice and clear what, what these KPIs represent. So that's all there is to it. Um, a dashboard is just a series of widgets. You can build up those widgets from different data sources. Now we're just gonna take a look at a few examples of dashboards I've created um, from things like Salesforce, Pipedrive, even connecting to things like Google Sheets and databases and HubSpot sales. Here we have an example of a dashboard we've created with some image widgets as well. And this just really increases the sense of fun and ownership that the team has for um, their own metrics and their own KPIs. You know, they love seeing the faces up on the wall um, on this dashboard. You can see we've added our yearly sales into here, um, our sales this week. We've got our leaderboard going so we can see who's, who's performing best this year. And that really just keeps up the sense of fun and friendly competition you know, and, and keeps sales agents motivated. We can also see our weekly sales as well as the performance of each rep. Um, in terms of how they're doing individually. Um, let's take a look at another example of a dashboard we've got. So this is an example of a dashboard we've created that combines data from Salesforce and Google Analytics. Um, it's also done in a nice custom style as well. Um, it's possible to customize the look and feel of your dashboard with Gecko Board. And you can see on the left-hand side, we've got Salesforce metrics related to pipeline and um, how how many sales we've closed this quarter. You can also see recent deals and deals closed this month. But on the right-hand side, you can see some of that top of funnel KPIs coming through from Google Analytics. So we can see um, the website leads we're producing, and we see where those leads are coming from. We can see how many sessions we have overall. So if you're somebody that needs to keep an eye on both the top of funnel in terms of what marketing's doing, but also bottom of funnel in terms of how sales is performing, a KPI dashboard like this can really give you that snapshot, that bigger picture of your business performance without having to log into Google Analytics and Salesforce individually. So it can really save you a lot of time and help you monitor performance much more quickly. And there we go. I hope you found this video useful. I hope you're a little bit further on in understanding what type of tool, what type of approach is going to be right for creating your own business KPI dashboard. Um, if you found the video useful, please drop us a like and a subscribe. Check out the other content on the channels. We've got videos on how to design an effective dashboard, on how to set up dashboards for TV. And please do check out Gecko Board as well. Just head over to geckoboard.com and start your free trial. Check it out for yourself. Um, otherwise, hope you found it useful. Have a great day. Oh,